amazing. What's up, Brian Nation? It's your boy Deshaun. Today we are back with another lit video. I feel so good today because we're about this video is about to be lit. And yes, I'm serious. This video is about to be lit, and I haven't did this video. Well, I haven't did this video ever. I haven't did this video ever, and I haven't fished in a long time. I haven't fished for um about. Last time I actually went fishing was in Hawaii with some friends in the creek. And now I'm about to fish at the lake for the aquarium. If you guys have not watched that video, the link will be in the description down below for the last video. Or you can just go, you know, look at the play. Go look at more videos and it should be the recent, most recent is one I did besides this one. So we're gonna get some baby fishes, probably like gumpies or whatever, and I'm gonna show you. And we're gonna be doing it with a, as you can see, a DIY trap, a DIY bottle trap. Haven't did that in a long time, and um, it's a good time to go fishing because today is cold outside. The sun is up. It is so cold outside, and the grass around there, the reason why I said it's good to fish when it's cold by a lake, because the grass be tall, and you don't know what can be out there, like snakes or whatever, so, and snakes hate cold, so, you're safe, but if it was hot and they cut the grass, you'll be a bit safer, but you're safe now, because it's winter, and you know, grass is tall, and there's no snakes that's going to be there. So, we're going to play the clip of me doing a DIY bottle trap. So, first you need a water bottle. One scissors. Cut this off. Make sure the water bottle is empty. You know. Or you can just chug it. But I pulled the water out. I ain't going to lie to y'all. And then after that, you kind of want to cut the Bible over here. And make sure you cut it straight like that. See? And then, and then you guys get this top out because you don't need it. Push that in there. Make sure it's stay in there so it won't be able to come out. So when you put it in the water, you guys will see. And I made another one oh, a long time ago. But, you know, but this is perfect because the fishes can go straight in there. And since this hole is not, since this part on the bottom, since the part, you know, this little hole is not the inside, is not really that big, so fishes will be. It will take them a long time to notice that and then they'll swim out. But it'll give you time, it'll give you. This is the piece of um, some relish or whatever, you know, and fishes will love this. They'll come and chew on it, on it you know. So, what we're going to do, break it apart. I'm already going to set up the trap before I get to the um, little lake or pond, whatever you want to call it. But if it's a pond, it's a big pond. But I'm going to call it a lake because that's what it is. I've been calling it for years. So, there's another one, but unfortunately that one is dirty and I might clean that do a video on me cleaning that one up later so you got this in there you want to break it to small pieces because this is a fish trap for small fish I don't know if a big fish would be able to fit in here probably not probably a little small mosquito fish or guppies whatever 
get some string or some shoestring tied up to it so I'll be able to pull it out in the water. But I'm set in the water. And unfortunately, I don't have a cameraman right now, so I'm be you won't really see me when we're at the lake. You'll see you'll hear me because I'll be holding the camera. But you'll see my hand because I'll be putting this in the water at. Let's just get to it. Let's talk in. More action. So I got this. My shoe strain from a dress shoe. And we got tape. Instead of tying it because the string is so is only so big, so I'm gonna make sure you put a lot of tape. Make sure it's tight. So when we put it in the water. You know, be able to put it in the water, pull it, and... Unfortunately, there was a time where I couldn't see what's over here. But I don't. I gotta be careful. Guys, I got it set up like that. So, unfortunately, you see all this stuff. Yeah, it used to never be here. But, yeah, you... Okay, so guys, I'm walking back over here. To the lake. To see what we got. Hopefully we got some fishes because it's been like a good 15 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes. Hey guys, I don't know if y'all see it, but the bottle's like right there. I got this string right there because there was nothing in it but the bait. So I'm out here fishing and I don't see anything. It's, there used to be a lot of fishes out here, but it's like they're just dead. Like, they're not here no more. Like, someone came and eat, ate them. Because I really don't see nothing. I just threw food, and ain't nothing came up. It's floating. Like, y'all tell me what happened. And, yeah, it's tall grass, but there's a pathway. Like, you can see the pathway. Pulling up the fish trap, as you can see, and I don't think there's nothing in there. Unfortunately. And so I'm trying to sink this back in there. Oh no, it's floating away. I don't want it to stay in the water, and I can't swim, so... We're gonna have it hidden, string hidden right there. We're gonna keep it right there and see what happens. Some rocks for the little fish. For the little mini fish pond, and I'm gonna put them in my jacket pocket. That's perfect. Perfect for like. You guys see it? This crap is so cool. Excuse me, but this stuff is so cool. I got I actually got a plan because I don't see that many fishes as there used to be. But just to look at these fishes, I don't know what they call it, I got because I can't really see them. But they look like big mosquito fishes. And this stuff is actually cool. Hold up, you guys, let's set it up. Okay, so I got the bucket set up. I don't know where the fishes are at. I think I scared them away, but pretty soon they're gonna come back because they're still bread pieces. Yeah, they're actually over there right now. They're about to come, they're gonna come back and they're gonna swim in there, and then we're gonna get the fishes. So stay tuned. Guys, I'm trying not to give up. I'm trying not to doubt myself, but unfortunately, today just might not be our day. But at least we saw fish, know that there's fishes in the pond. I'm going to have to buy a net or something else because this trap ain't working, but holy smokes, there's a lot of fishes. That just... But yeah, there's a duck right over there by that fence the backyard I'm tr not trying to get their house but there's a duck over there caught nothing so unfortunately I am going home calling it a day it was nice to be out here with the little duckling and the fishes you guys see that duck I've been here with that duck over there all day just trying to catch some fish I moved to a good spot because I was about to leave where I saw some um, 
guppies swimming over here. But then when I threw the bucket in, they scattered away. And there was like a lot of them. So I'm going to leave that there for a little bit. Because I was over there a minute ago. And my first fish was actually a little baby fish. It was about a guppy. The size of a guppy. But this is my last straw and I'm going home. Because I had enough of it. I've been up here all day. But that's that's what I like about fishing. It teaches you to be patient. Like, that's how life is. It's just like fishing. You got to be patient. If you really want it, you have to be patient and try to do everything you can to get it. It's all about how bad do you want it and being patient. Today, today is January 7th, and yesterday was January 6th, which is the day I did started filming of doing the DIY fishing. Fishing with the DIY trap, yeah, as y'all saw, that went horrible, but the bait and stuff that I used was good, but I'm going to go get some um, better bait since I got paid today. I'm actually going to go get, uh, um, I'm actually going to go get some hot dogs for the fish, because the fish just love hot dogs, so I'm going to just got off the bus, as y'all can see, and he's going to go in there. Now I am in the store. I just got out of Kroger's to get the to get the hot dogs for the fishes. But now I'm how to get this? Cause my Air Force ones can use this. It helps whiten your shoes, I guess. That's what it's called. Whiten. It bleaches them. Um, thing the more hot dogs. And everything, the sun is about to go down. It is sunset, and I'm trying to cut to the chase and do this video, you guys. I really want to do this for you guys, and you know, I can't be out here in the dark because I don't know what's in the grass. I caught a fish, you guys. I was so happy. I pulled up the bucket a whole bunch of times. I'll tell you in a minute, but this is so dope, guys. This is what I'm telling y'all about. I zoomed in. Imagine that as a little pond for fishes. I finished dugging it out yesterday. It's pretty deep for, like, little fishes. Here's what it looked like. I don't know what type of fish is it. Oh, it's not a mosquito fish. It's something else. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, so guys, I got, I went to the store and got the hot dogs, as I showed y'all earlier, but I didn't show you what kind. That was because it was cheap, so. And, I'm going to go want some, so. There you go. But I chop it up in little smaller pieces just to see, because, you know, and I feel bad for him, but I'm going to give him some more friends, you know. I'm going to buy a net and stuff. And I'm just gonna raise some of these fishes and put them in the little pond that I'm gonna build. And like, hold up, you. So guys, I got these, and let's go. Now I moved it all the way over here, close by where the pond is gonna be at. Um, this fish is still in here. I believe it's hiding under this stuff. Oh, there it goes. Amazing beauty, but yeah, we're just gonna leave it here, and I'm gonna oh, I'm gonna fill it up. The more fishes I get, and I'm gonna order fish net, like I said. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. If you're new to this channel, man, subscribe. There's lit videos dropping every other day from now on. You know, it's 2020, and that's my goal is to do videos every other day. I love you guys. Make sure you guys, um, I love you guys and appreciate you guys. But make sure you guys, you know, also follow me on Instagram at Sean Bryan. That is two underscores, two underscores. And DM me on Instagram for any more pranks, blogs, suggestions of any guys, anything you guys want me to do. And, um, I love you guys. Stay tuned. Peace out.